We are learning this morning that former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is facing a new lawsuit, nearly $2 million, claiming he made some pretty big false promises about payback as it relates to Donald Trump's first impeachment trial. I know you're going to remember this guy's name, Gordon Sondland. That's him. He was the ambassador to the EU and a key witness in that trial. Well, today, just the last couple of hours, he filed a suit against Pompeo and the U.S. government to cover his legal fees. It's money he says Pompeo promised the State Department would reimburse him for, but then did not after hearing how he testified, calling it a commitment that was abandoned, apparently, he says, for political convenience. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell is at the White House. Kelly, good morning. What else do we know about this? Well, this certainly could be a movie plot, and it takes us all back to a time when we remember the intensity around impeachment and some of the figures who were holding government office who became characters in this drama. Gordon Sondland was prominent among them. And what he is saying is that because the U.S. government, his employer, did not indemnify him and pay for his legal representation when he was a part of what his documents call a highly charged testimony in front of Congress that he incurred considerable expenses. Now, Sondland claims that he had been given assurances by Secretary of State Pompeo that his cost of counsel would be covered. It's expensive to be a witness in a hot seat in Washington. He says that his legal bills totaled $1.8 million and that the government reneged on that promise. Of course, a part of this is what was Gordon Sondland testifying about. He was ultimately fired by the administration after then President Trump was acquitted by the Senate. But he was one of the linchpin characters in that drama, talking about his conversations with the president, his understanding of the military component with Ukraine, those words uh, pro, uh, quid pro quo that became so much a part of the impeachment drama. Gordon Sondland had key conversations with pivotal people. He says his testimony was candid. It ultimately was viewed by many as not favorable to President Trump. But remember, he got the job as EU ambassador because he had been a donor. That's right. And so he was a prominent figure who uh, was likely, you know, one of those people who the fates brought him into this. And now he is bringing it back, saying that Mike Pompeo needs to uh, be held accountable for this. Pompeo's representatives have not commented. And this will go to court and taking Gordon Sondland back to another kind of hot seat.